in this video we're gonna talk about is app now really happy or not um it's a difficult there's... question because she has a very big dilemma going on inside her brain inside her psychoanalyzing head so we don't really actually know what's going on inside her head but we're trying to figure out exactly what's going on in her head if she's happy if she's sad if she's depressed or is she dealing with some feelings of repressed feelings and we don't actually know what's going on inside her head so we're trying to figure it out and we wanted to figure it out by looking inside her head, which we could do a brain scan on her head, but unfortunately we can't do a brain scan on her head because I don't have the technology to do that. Also, I don't have her brain near me, so it would be difficult to do a brain scan. Also, I, want, I wish I could have, sit down and have a conversation with her, but it's very hard because she's very famous and I don't actually get to speak to her every day as often as I would like to speak to her. I wish I could speak to her every day and every minute, but I really can't because she's too busy. Yeah, so... But we can make some assumptions, you know, in her videos. Sounds very happy to me. She has a very she high pitch voice, of them. which um, could insinuate that she um, is very happy, but you don't even know. It's hard to tell some dates. You could have a low pitch voice and be happy as well, and also you could have a high pitch voice and not be happy. So it's not actually a, f a for sure sign of whether Afma's yes. happy. But it's actually, not a firm solution, but definitely I think it contributes also... Uh, her thumbnails, she looks happy in those, so I think that's pretty concrete evidence. Right. Also, a recent study that correlated height between happiness would be useful here, and we actually don't know Ophmo's height, so we actually can't use that. But Yeah, but um, we can make a guess. If you just kind of look at her, I'd say like four, eight, and a half inch. Or, no, 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 no. About five, two, which is actually the ideal height for a woman's happiness, according to the in uh, the index of height happiness but yeah actually, they use special rulers that's how they could tell yeah i could tell her favorite uh, flower was red roses and according to my psychology class if you like red roses more than yellow tulips you're more likely to have experienced true love which would yeah that's that's a personality tell she does have a husband which should improve her happiness unless he beats her then that would not improve it that would be negative i think it depends if she's getting enough exercise drinking enough water showering every day getting enough sunlight yeah probably not showering every day let's see if you look at her but yeah so it seems like it seems seems pretty happy though if i was to guess it's actually hard to tell because yeah, according to i mean I don't know if all our viewers are well versed on Albert Einstein and his work. Oh come on! If they're subscribed to us, they are definitely well versed on that. It's I'll I'll put a link in the description about the exact piece of work I'm talking about. But mm -hmm. Albert Einstein, back in 1974, he did some research on this and he actually deduced that Afmo isn't happy. But then later, it was actually contradicted mm -hmm. by. Marie Curie. So it's it's very it's very conflicted in my brain. So I don't really yeah. know what to say. We don't have an exact answer, but we're just giving you the facts so you can make your own educated uh, guess about the matter. Because nobody really knows for sure, but everyone has their own feelings about the matter. Please comment how you feel personally. That would be amazing. I love reading your comments. You guys are really intelligent. I can tell by how you frame and word your comments, so that would be wonderful. So I actually heard Absolutely. that Afmo has a plentiful amount of pets and dogs and cats, which can make you feel better about your life, which could deduce the happiness theorem, according to Albert. Yeah, that definitely would help having different types of animals uh, and not letting them leave, just keeping them. But anyway, I, I do believe if the dog was brown, it, it could actually cause depressing effects on the, um, the chemical imbalance. I heard yeah, Af that's actually a fact. Afmo actually that's stopped actually taking her antidepressants for a year, and, and it's been helping her. Yeah, usually that helps people when they stop taking antidepressants. Usually that makes them not be depressed. Because antidepressants actually make you more depressed. No, well, sometimes. So, that makes sense. Sometimes they do. Mm hmm It depends. It might not be working right. Yeah, so, our main, so one of our main evidence, though, is still um, that 
her animated face appears to be happy in her thumbnails. I think that's the most damning evidence in our course of study. She has a cute, up, upbeat voice. Yeah, I've been wanting to say that, so I'm glad you actually said that first, because that's what I've really been wanting to say for the past three videos. So, but actually, yeah. if you guys, if you guys want to keep watching me, um, how to, this is how you kill an Enderman. I learned this off my video. Um, you kill him like this, bing, 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 bing. But actually, I did deduce after much thinking and much um, contemplating that Af Mao is having a good life. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.